Hello there and welcome to the MXQ project. My name is Matthew and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Lollipop onto the MXQ SA5 TV box. Now this is originally built by Abdul for a box called the K1 and we just so happened to come across it and think hmm it's for the SA5 it might just work. And we tried it and we were lucky enough to actually install it onto our boxes. Now the problem with it is that the MXQ has got so many different variations of boards but there's a good chance it may not work on your actual hardware and it's got the potential to actually break it. So there's all this hardware here I've got here and they're all different boards and they're all under the same name, the MXQ a set of five. And they're all very similar but they're all very different at the same time. So I don't know if it's going to work or not on your box. We can give it a try if you feel confident and enough. Um, make sure you know what you're doing with recovering your box as well because if you're not sure how to do that then this could totally wreck everything and that will be the end of your system. So if you're really wanting to install this or you're just wanting to install something so you can actually run Krypton then I suggest you go over and check out our dual boot Librolet guide because that's far safer and far more, you know, it's going to work. So we're going to use something called TWRP to install this Lollipop firmware. It's the, got the best chance of actually working and it's what we use anyway. So let's move on and let's show you how to do it. The first thing you're going to need is you're going to need an SD card. So a full size one. You're also obviously going to need an MXQ box and as well as that, a PC. I'm going to be using Windows, you might have Linux, um, so it might be a little bit different setup to you guys, but this tutorial is going to cover how to use it on Windows. So, we're going to need a few files first, so let's go to mxqproject.com forward slash files, and let's go down to TWRP. Now in here there is a couple of different folders. Now the one I want to use is the all black set of 5 TWRP. And that recovery dot image is what we need to download. Now, if you happen to have a B-Link version, which is the MXQ Red Stripe, then that's the one you need. But the chances are you've got an all black one like that one, and this is the one that's built for that. Now, I can't guarantee it's going to work on your box because there's too many variations of the board, like I mentioned previously. So, if it works, great. If it doesn't, then I'm sorry. Then you'll have to move on to something else, such as Libre So, download that. And what you need to do is, you need to pop your SD card into your computer. And you need to format it. So, if you're not sure how to format it, bring up the SD card. So, this is mine here. And right and click. And then, click Format and then select FAT32 which is just here and click start now I've already set up my SD card so I'm not going to do that but you just click start format it to FAT32 and then move on to the next step so you need to grab your TWRP file and then you need to actually place it onto your SD card and it should look like this it should just say recovery and it should be an image file so that's what we need so the next thing you've probably noticed already you need to go back to mxqproject.com forward slash files this is here and you need to go to Abdul's Lollipop which is just there and you need to download that zip file once downloaded all you need to do is simply drag and drop onto the SD card just like you can see here so this is the contents of my SD card at the moment and that's what it should look like once you're finished so that was it, that was pretty easy right? So the next step is to move over to the TV and use TWRP which is this. This is actually the TWRP system that we're going to use to install this. And then we're go once we're going to use the TV to actually navigate around and actually install it using it. So let's move over and let's do that section. So before we actually use TWRP we have to actually launch it. So this is the way your MXQ should look. So take out your power cable, pop in your SD card, grab yourself something thin and sharp. On the back of your box you've got a navy port and inside there is a little button that we need to hold in. Find it, it can be a bit of a pain to find sometimes, but on camera you could probably hear that clicking. Now hold that in and grab your power cable, 
and then pop it in. So just to go over that again, SD card inside of the box, that's the SD card we've put the two files on. Grab yourself something thin and sharp, pop it in there, hold the button in, and then apply power. Of course, make sure you've got your HDMI cable in and you've selected the right channel on your TV. And what should happen is TWRP should come up on the screen. Now, if it doesn't and it just goes back to the Android recovery page, unfortunately, that won't. TWRP is not going to work on your on your hardware. So the chances are installing Lollipop is going to be very small for you. So if TWRP has been successfully launched then we can proceed to the next part.